I'm not saying everyone comes with a tiny answer or with a small question or a small problem, but it can drive you nuts, those things. But I'm happy with getting them, you know, 80, 90% better, whatever it is, depending on the circumstance, 95% better. Alicia's asking in the comments, I bought a copper ring and my finger turns green. I'm acidic. How do you change that? Gluten-free. And Holly's saying copper bracelets detect alkalinity. What? Okay, so let's talk about this. Yeah, it's a pretty good um, measure. It's an easy measure to do. And uh, we use brass. We use brass discs and the frequency tuning discs. So brass is partially copper. does the same thing. And yes, if you are slightly acidic, then you turn green or blue or black. And you can get test strips too, by the way, at like the pet store for the aquarium. And you can use those with spit or with urine. And you got to know that every fluid in the body is slightly different acidity anyways. So you have to understand those numbers before you're going into it. But the copper trick is way easier to me because you can wear the copper all the time. Copper is practically free if you put a little copper water. And um, within a couple of hours, you should see it turn green or blue or black. And if you don't see that, then you're not acidic and it can be tough to get there. And yes, you might look healthy. You might feel healthy and realize that you're green. And I've seen there's some people who will say, oh, some people just naturally do that. No, that's BS. You can change that. And in Chef Norman's case, it did require he go completely gluten free. And I do imagine that's going to be key for most people because he was on the products for a long time. He's been on the products longer than me. He's the one that introduced me to these products. But he wasn't gluten free until a couple of years or now it's been three, four years now. But initially he was still overweight, 80 pounds overweight, at least it took going the gluten free to get rid of that. And that whole time, it wasn't until the very end that he that he stopped being acidic. And yet it's a very it's very reliable. I don't know anything that disproves that. And uh, the other major factor is the osteo effects, by the way. Let's uh, just put this in here. Hello, Sherry. Good to see that you made it. Hi, sorry. I had to unmute. We're just saying now copper detects acidity. So it, some of these guys did not know that. Copper detects acidity and um, gluten free. Yes, that's key. Also, calcium. Calcium and magnesium. I should be fair to magnesium. But uh, calcium is the bigger, the more important part of our program, in my opinion. And so that usually means osteo effects or it means calcot. I do not know if it can be done without these ingredients. I have not seen it proven to me that it could be done without these ingredients. People promote alkaline diets based on the theory that eating alkaline foods will make you alkaline. Well, this is easily disproven with copper bracelets. Hand out some copper bracelets to a bunch of vegans who juice and eat all the superfoods and avocados and everything. They think they're balanced. Maybe they even got the brewer's yeast in there. We'll talk about that later. Um, and they're still, they're still acidic because there's not enough calcium in any diet. And most modern people are magnesium deficient at the same time. You need both of these to be alkaline. These are both the buffers. And calcium is the primary buffer in nature. This is why oceans will never be acidic. Back, I used to work in marine science. And back then, people were all talking about, oh, carbon's going to make the oceans acidic. They never took into consideration the uh, limestone that rings all the oceans. So it, it will absolutely never happen, not even close. They won't even, won't budge, will not change one point up the pH scale. We're down pH scale. Because of calcium. Calcium does this in the body as well. Again, this is key to our program. Some of the vitamins matter, right? Uh, hydration matters. In fact, this is going to be, once you're alkaline already, this will be the thing that will throw you off the fastest. I know this because I get dehydrated when I'm on the road and I start to show a little bit green. And if I keep that up for days and days, it'll get more and more and more green. And if I run out of osteo, that could happen as well within a few days. But for me, getting dehydrated big time because you're draining your water and your B vitamins and your vitamin C. 
and your calcium, magnesium, your potassium, all your electrolytes, all your water soluble nutrients. Technically, you need all of them to be alkaline, but I think you could take all of them and be missing these two or even just be missing calcium and you'll still be acidic. It's a theory. I have no double blind studies for this or anything, but I would I would bet the farm on it. Calcium, this is our main thing. And this is why I go. I always go back to this. I always say this is the most important part of our program because you can do everything else that I'm pretty sure you will still be acidic. Proven by the copper base. Yeah, the alkaline diets uh, never, never worked. Holly's got her hands up. What's up? So I was just wondering, will the color return on those um, frequency tuning discs when your body returns to alkaline? You mean, will your skin go back to normal? No, well, the disc. Oh, is it your skin that changes color, not your the skin. disc itself? Yeah, your skin gets a little temporary stain, green, black, or blue. Oh, okay. I've never, I've never noticed that. I have the disc. I wear it around my neck. Are parts of your body more reactive than, like, say, your chest if you're wearing it around your neck? I don't really think so. But if if you let it sit in sweat, the sweat is slightly kind of acidic too. So the sweat will actually make it more pronounced. Okay. So like, I wear one on the on the ankle. It's under the sock. It's gonna be. It's gonna sweat a little bit more. So the second I'll get a little bit dehydrated, my wrist won't show anything, but my ankle will. Gotcha. That's pretty you're, cool. Uh, on your chest, there's a bit of di distance and you're not sweating a lot there. And so it probably is more of a true gauge. Okay. So the alkaline.